This course is brought to you by AppyPy as part of our Academy series. In this video, you're getting your next mini mission, which is to create a customer avatar. Now don't go ahead and skip this video because when you actually complete this mini mission, you're gonna be reinforcing all of the things that you've learned so far in this module. And on top of that, which is the most important thing, you're gonna be increasing your confidence in your ability to write copy. So even if you believe that you're not gonna be using customer avatars in the future when you write copy, I still encourage you to try it at least once and see how it feels. So what we're going to do is you're going to think about the people in your target audience that you listened to in the previous module. So remember you did that exercise where you were the online observer going to where that target audience hangs out. Well, now you're going to create a customer avatar sheet for that target audience. So don't worry about getting it perfect. This exercise is uncomfortable because you have to make assumptions. Now what I noticed in my experience, and I've heard other people share this in their experience, is the online observer technique is a lot easier because you don't have to make any assumptions. All you have to do is browse these websites and copy and paste customer language into a Word document. But this is the first time where you actually have to take guesses where you're not sure whether or not that's 100% true. As you fill out the customer worksheet, you're gonna be using the information that you found doing the online observer technique as the source of that information, so you're making educated guesses, but at the same time, there's no way to know 100% for sure that everything you put in this customer avatar worksheet is correct. And I'm saying this because that's where the uncomfortableness comes in. Believe me, I feel this even on new projects when I write a customer avatar worksheet after doing it a lot, I still get uncomfortable. And it's important that we keep pushing through this discomfort, no matter how big or small it is, because it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay if our assumptions aren't perfect. And the most important thing is just do the best that you can, and you're already gonna be ahead of 99% of the people writing copy out there with no customer avatar. So even if your mind's like, you're doing this all wrong, you're not making the best guesses about the customer avatar, why are you writing this, you don't know for sure, you can't say that, just trust that by going through this process, no matter what, your copy is gonna be much better because of it. So pause this video now and don't move on until you've completed this mini mission. Congratulations, you just completed the mini mission of creating your customer avatar worksheet. That's awesome, so cool, and now you have this tool in your toolkit for the rest of your life that you're writing copy. In this video, you completed the mini mission of creating a customer avatar. 